YouTube, it's me, Jen, your Pudgy Picker. Got another garage sale haul for you. Did pretty good today. I spent, I would say like $60. $60. Um, I spent a little more than that, but I got a couple things my daughter was looking at. So she already put all her stuff away. And first we have to have my cuckoo clock go off. <laughs> So uh, I did pretty good today, so let's jump right in and show you my goodies. I will tell you if I'm going to sell it in my antique booth or if I'm going to sell it on eBay and basically what I hope to get. But first, there's Tater. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's see what I got. What awesomeness. I want to get this item before I forget it. Uh, a lady was at a garage sale, did not, several things were not priced. This is just so adorable. Look at his mustache under there. So you got mom and dad, and then you got a whole bunch of kids. But it is so adorable. Did not have a price, the lady said. Uh, how much? And I said, how about three? Because I was guessing she'd say five, and she said, yeah, that'll work. So three dollars. Um, this will go in my booth for probably, I would say, maybe $12 or $14. So pretty cool find. In fact, I had talked to the lady and I said, oh, well, thanks, you know, have a good day or whatever, because I wasn't finding anything. Just as I was turning, I saw this colorful thing sitting on the table. So I went back and I was like, ooh, I have to have that. <laughs> <clears throat> so on the table, uh, got a few items for myself. I think Kaylin is, my daughter is gonna snitch this pair off of me. These were 50 cents each. I have a summer dress and some just like little white plain tennis shoes uh, that I want to wear this summer. And I wanted to get some socks, hidden socks. So I don't usually buy stuff like this, but I thought for 50 cents or two bucks for four, it would be a good deal. Um, there's three packages of these. They're just little cheesecloth bags. And I'm thinking these would be good for some of the smaller items that I have just to cinch them up in there and ship them. Um, I do occasionally find these um, uh, these incense burners. I usually pick them up. I do sell incense in my booth and I only sell these for maybe two, two fifty. So a dime was an easy pickup. So I have them displayed by my incense in my booth. Um, this sign says, be happy. It's matted. It's very adorable. It was $3. This, I kind of have some ideas. Um, only $2 for the whole box. I have a cutter that I can cut a, uh, a hole in there that is the size of like a tea light. So, and then I'll kind of clean these up and varnish them and then probably, you know, put a couple together and wrap them with burlap or something cute. If I do a project on that, I will show that to you. But I figured $2 for the whole box was a good deal. And we have a sleeping kitty. Sleeping kitty. Yankee. We are unfazed. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so I did pick up this mug. It's a pretty decent sized mug on both sides. It says Coffee Attic. Addict. And it was only a dollar. Um, I think it originally had like, like, uh, some kind of wherever they bought it from as a maybe a souvenir from someplace but it was mostly scratched off so I finished scratching and it disappeared so yeah that will go in my booth with my men's items or I have a separate areas just kitchen and coffee mugs um, I thought these were really cute I got two boxes uh, manatee gang four pack colorful tea infusers uh there was two boxes four in each three dollars uh, i said will you take five for both boxes she said yes so essentially you put your loose tea in here and then they hang on your glass uh, kind of like that <laughs> aren't they cute so i think probably these will probably go in my booth maybe at least a couple of them and then I'll look online. I'm sure they're not worth a huge amount, but I figure, what, I paid $5 for eight of them, so, you know, that's a pretty good price. <clears throat> Didn't manage to get myself some candles. Um, 
usually there's only certain brands I'll pick I'll pick up. Uh, this Yankee Candle, it says Cool Christmas Mint. It doesn't smell like mint today to me, and it doesn't smell like Christmas. It looks like it was only burned once, and it was burned evenly. There's no tunneling. 75 cents. So, yeah. So, I mean, you can tell it was only burned once. So, you want to sniff it? Here, sniff. Does that smell good? So, ooh, cut a whiff of that. So, these are not cheap. So, I figured 75 cents was an awesome deal. So, I'll hang on to that. Uh, this one, ugh. I kind of was thinking Bath, Bed Bath, no, not Bed Bath and Beyond, Bath and Body Works, but no, it is not. Uh, this one is Hudson 43, I think that's, is that a Target maybe brand? I don't remember. Oh, no, it's just Joanne Stores. So, uh, and I got this, it is Soft Cashmere. True Living, not sure what brand that is. It smells really good. It was $4 for both pieces. And this is, you could see the oil in it. When it was in my car, it was starting to get a little melty because it was hot. But a three wick, never burned. Um, so I thought that was definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, I usually get my three wick candles at, um, at Walmart. <clears throat> don't look in the candle section actually look where they have like the glade and the sprays and stuff and they have their own brand it, they are three wick they smell so good there's a huge variety and they're literally 350 for a three wick candle so that is definitely what I pick up uh, this one is an Ikea one Sinlig um, it looks like a spa kind of scent that's what it smells like. Uh, this one was never burned and a buck, so that's not too bad. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got these tea lights. I do these in my uh, in my kitchen. That's fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Yes, that is definitely from the what do you call them? <sighs> not the squiggles. <laughs> <laughs> the brain just isn't what she used to be. I recently just turned 51, and it's worse than ever. The wiggles. That's what it is, the wiggles. My kids were just aging out of them when they came around. Uh, lemon lavender. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Pineapple cilantro. My husband loves cilantro. Cinnamon sugar. So these weren't priced. I asked the lady how much they were these for, and she goes, mm a nickel a piece. I was like, done. So I gave her a quarter. I tipped her. It's okay. So that was definitely a good pickup. <clears throat> and the candles um, found me some chickens today. So this is like a wood carved one on a stand. Uh, no price. Lady said a buck. And then this one is solid wood. Five dollars. I think it caught, tucked her down to four. But it that, that chicken is very heavy. So these will go in my booth. The stand-up one, I'll probably put eight, um, and this heavy one will probably go for 14, I would guess. Um, the manatees, I'm not sure how much they're going to go for. I'll look them up. The coffee attic mug, I'll probably put like seven bucks on it. <clears throat> I did get another elephant, and his tusks were not broke. I think they intentionally take the tusks out. Uh, when they are sold at the thrift store. Ooh, he's got a cracked. He has a, look at that. He's got a damaged trunk. I just noticed that. So I will put a little uh, Howard's wood restorer on that and clean it up. It will darken that wood and it will look really nice. So he or she will go into my booth, probably eight bucks. I'll go on my African shelf. This was just too adorable. Uh, just a little embroidery thing. It says, life is good. Cute little yellow frame. No price. She said a buck. I said yes. Um, these two pieces of denim were in the free box. Because free is my favorite price. So I got these two. So I'll probably just put them in my booth uh, with my fabric and sell them for a couple bucks a piece. They're not real big pieces. But if you wanted to make like a little bag or something, I don't know what the lighting is in here, but they look kind of green, but they are blue. I don't know what to tell you. 
So yeah, that was definitely an easy pickup because free. I mean, who can say no to that? I did pick up um, two bags. Uh, this is a Vera Bradley bag. I am going to keep and use this summer. I love the pattern. Now, I picked it up. I did not see a price on it. Now, when I laid it out here at home, I see a $20 tag on there. I, there's never in a million years I would have paid that. I pay a little more if I'm going to use something for me, but of course, when you are selling something, I have to have a prob, you know, profit margin. Um, so I asked the lady, I said, how much for this bag? She said, uh, 10. And I kind of looked at it and I kind of set it back down. She goes, I'll, she goes, I'll take seven. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So yeah, I probably wouldn't have paid 10. I wouldn't have paid definitely 20, but seven. Yeah, I'll pay seven. So that's for me. And, uh, it's one of those things I take really good care of the things I own. And if I get tired of looking at it, I can turn around and sell it. So, no big deal. Um, this one is kind of cool. I've never, I don't think I've ever heard of this brand, uh, Bell, Bella Russo. It's like a, like a vinyl kind of deal. So, I mean, you can, you know, probably take this around and beat the heck out of it and it'll still clean up really well. It's a decent sized bag. Um, let me show you the inside. Is this cute little gray, you know, abstract poke dot. Very cute. Um, I have a bag with uh, that I carry things because I am on the ad team in my um, antique mall, so I have to carry a binder and some other paperwork with me when I have our meetings every two weeks. So I thought this would be nice. And uh, again, it didn't. I didn't see a price. And then when I got looking, it had a dollar on it, a dollar here, and on the handle it had a two dollar. So it's <laughs> like. So I walked up and I said, there's two prices on here, but I said, um, a lot of times I come home and I got price stickers stuck on me or on my shoes or whatever. So I'm like, I don't know. I said, y you know, how much was it? Because I thought if she was going to say two, I'd say, how about between the two, 150? And she said, oh, I think that's supposed to be one. So yeah, everything, you know, works on it real well. It is very cute. It looks pretty sturdy. So... Doing everything one-handed. <laughs> I did manage to get some wallpaper. I don't think this is necessarily really old, but it appears to be vintage. There's four rolls, never opened. Um, it says made in USA. Um, let's see. So it's got five yards each, uh, pre-pasted, and it appears to have like goldfish and little bubbles. I usually do open one uh, to show what it looks like on uh, on eBay because that's where these are going to go. Yeah, there you can see the fish better, but that's adorable. So yeah, two bucks for the bag. Um, I don't know, probably, I'll look it up and see how much they're going for, but I imagine probably 15 to $20 usually is what I sell my wallpaper border for. It does sell, people still use it. We still want it, so, yep. Got these mercury glass uh, jugs. They have a, a wire, um, like a mesh almost on it. These were originally $10.99. <sighs> it says market, so this was probably, oh, Michael's, so that's a uh, craft store. So you can kind of see through it. It's pretty cool. So I got four of those. She had a few more, but they some of them were clear. I liked these the best. Uh, she said they were $2 a piece, so I don't know if I'm just going to stage these or what I'm going to do with them, but they will go to my booth. I don't know. probably end up 6 bucks a piece, 6 to $8 a piece if I do not put anything in them. So I don't know. I may just take them out like that and put one of my reusable candles I have in the bottom. Who knows? Somebody will love them. Um, I did get this uh, this cork cage, and it says uncork and unwind. It has a little stopper at the top, and then it has some hanging tags, and it was $5. Um, I think I bundled that and some other items at the sale, so I think I might have got like a buck off of that. This little guy I got... Remember I told you when I got my cement chicken and I got a little dog figurine and I did not get around to showing you? He's pretty light, but he was filthy. So I brought him in and he doesn't have any holes or anything. So 
I went ahead and just set him in my sink, put some Dawn on him, and scrubbed the daylights out of him. Uh, so he came out pretty clean. There are a few little uh, white spots or where there's chips, so I will take a black Sharpie and uh, redo those. Uh, figurines this size, or any size, really do quite well. So he'll probably go out to my booth for $12. I think I paid two for him. Um, my son is always looking for work shoes. He wears like khakis and either polos or a dress shirt, no tie for his job. Uh, he works with computers. These appear to uh, don't have an insole, so he might have to get one. It was only a dollar. They are leather uppers. I do not know what brand this is, but they look like they've barely been used. And better yet, look at the size on these. 14s. Look how big these are. My son has huge feet, so it, you know, finding anything his size at a garage sale is almost impossible. Even at regular stores, you can't find 13 and 14s. So a lot of he he shops a ton on Mercari. He's 21 and he loves Mercari. He goes on there. He buys clothes. He buys shoes. Uh, he does have a tennis shoe collection. He likes nothing super expensive, just certain brands he likes and. You know, they look nice. <clears throat> so definitely for a buck, I thought if I get them, they don't fit. He doesn't like them. No big deal. I'll just redonate. Uh, like I said, I don't really see a name on them, but I didn't look real good. But they're like in such nice condition. So I told him about it. And he goes, oh, cool. I'll have to try them on. So yeah. Um, let's see. I got this box of some candles. It says Unique Handmade Limited Edition. 75 cents. I believe there are five or six of these really neat looking candles, um, like a buttery yellow color. Um, I was hoping there was six, but I believe there's only five, because this would have went nice in my brass candelabras I just took out to my booth. You just saw my booth tour, like last week. So, if not, I have lots of things that I could put these in or on, so not big deal. And for 75 cents, it's definitely worth it. I mean, they're literally less than a quarter a piece. I don't know where these are from. Oh, there you go. It is bcandle.com. I don't know. I'll we'll have to check them out. See how much of a deal I got. These are 100% beeswax. Mm -hmm. Six tapers. So somebody evidently did use one. <clears throat> oh well, no big deal. I will definitely find a use. I have a bin in my basement where I get my stuff together and I have uh, a lot of candles, real candles, also the ones that are fake flame that I get really cheap when I'm different places and I'm always using those for um, projects or if I have a piece, like I have uh, some smaller like votive uh, ones that have a button, you know, a button battery in it, so they, they'll go in there. So, yeah, I'm always picking those up. <clears throat> I did get these items for myself. I do happen to like hidden object games. Big Fish is a very good brand. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I got uh, a Steam account. If you've ever heard of Steam, if you like to play any kind of games, uh, PC games, you can go on there and you can pay. Oh, look at my toes. I got my feet done. <laughs> So yeah, um, I go on there usually, but when I see these, I still pick them up. The lady had a couple extras that uh, that I didn't pick up, but I thought, eh, I'll try these, and I can always, you know, resell them or just donate them. So this one is the Agency of Anomalies Cinderstone Orphan Orphanage. So that's pretty cool, but it's hidden objects and figuring the game out. And these were all a dollar a piece, by the way. This is Macabre Mysteries, Curse of the Nightingale. There's some pictures of the game. Uh, Mystery Chronicles, uh, pretty cool. Uh, Dorian Gray Syndrome. Uh, mystery Case Files, I've done several of the Mystery Case Files ones. 13th Skull, it says there's two games in there. This one is also two games. Haunted Hotel and Haunted Legends, so yeah. Because, you know, I have so much spare time because reselling just doesn't take up barely any of my time. Yeah, I'm being sarcastic. But sometimes I just like to put in a game and just relax. So 
I figured for, oh, I think I paid her five because I had six of them and I said, will you take five? She said, yeah, why not? So not too bad of an investment and something I can use. Uh, I got a dog. <laughs> I don't know if I did a clickbait title on this yet. I haven't decided, but yes, yeah, so we got a dog. It looks like a sheep dog. <clears throat> he is quite a decent size. <laughs> he was $4. He did not have a price, but I asked the guy, I'm like, oh, how much? I was expecting him to say 20 and he said 4 <clears throat> And I said, yeah. So brought him home. He will go probably on Facebook Marketplace. And he does have eyes here somewhere. There they are. <laughs> so, yeah, I uh, at, here at... Uh, almost 21 minutes. I am going to uh, insert the two videos of I put it in the kitchen and I let the dogs take a look. So I'm going to put that footage in and let you take a look and put it in right here. So I wanted to film Tater's reaction to my new puppy. Where's Tater? <gasps> Who's it? Who's it? <laughs> What do you think? And now we gotta go around the back to sniff the bee. Yep, sniff the behind. That's not a real dog. You like it? <laughs> Are you? You're like, I'm over it. Let's see what Pixel thinks. Pixel, what's that? What's that? <laughs> Pixel is limping a little. We've taken her to the doctor. She has some uh, arthritis, so we're giving her meds for it. But what do you think of the puppy, Pixel? You're kind of over it. Okay. I don't know what I was expecting, but I guess that's about it. <laughs> Again, back to the hall. So, yeah, I didn't get as big a reaction as I had hoped, but it is what it is. <laughs> and then the last item. Oh... Let me set him off to the side. Um, this item was free. Because free, again, is my favorite price. Uh, it was along the side of the road in somebody's trash. Completely still put together. It has the tray. It's very, very, very pink. Yeah, I'm not sure why that is. But the tray's in good condition. Uh, everything's in working order. So, what I will do, yeah, everything's in working order there. So, what I will do is, huh, I bought a dog cage for $5, and then another one I got for free as well. So, now I have three dog cages. So, I really have to, the other ones are in boxes, so I got to set those up and then, you know, do some pricing on them. And then I'm just going to sell them like uh, Facebook Marketplace, uh, just someplace local. So, yeah, those definitely will be uh, sold. I mean, I got this one literally for free, so if I put 10, 15 bucks on it, that's way cheaper than you're going to buy in a store, and you're going to be helping somebody out. So, yeah. So, I believe that is all that I got. Oh, there's Inky. Inky. Yeah, totally ignored. <laughs> like everybody else in this house. Oh! I missed one of the biggest items on there, and you probably were like, Jen, Jen, hello, Jen. Yeah, I, I don't pay attention a lot. Uh, these are vintage Canon sheets, Monticello. She had a huge box of these. They are vintage. They were made in the USA. Cotton poly, so they are, you know, the no iron. Um, and these are f uh, full flat sheets, four of them and full fitted sheets for. So I'm gonna sell these as a set. Um, yeah, you can definitely tell it's older because it's made in USA and a lot of people really like these. So yeah, I figured that was a good pickup. So $2 a set, so you know, four sets. Not a bad investment, so those will be going on eBay. Not exactly sure. Um, I think ones that are more vintage looking or have a really cool groovy design do better. But uh, I'm not going to ask a ton, but I definitely think somebody will be glad to have these. Yes, so again, I believe that is all. I always forget something on the table. That's just how it works. 
But uh, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Are we cleaning our feet now? Inky? <laughs> so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this haul. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Down in the description box is all my social media links. Uh, including Twitter and Instagram. My snail mail, etc. Uh, so check that out. We do appreciate uh, if you also uh, go on Facebook to Antique Booth Talk, uh, a closed group that talks about all things antique booth. And it has really been growing like really crazy here recently. So I've been very tickled with that. So that's been awesome. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Get out there, find some good stuff, even though it's super hot. <clears throat> you got to get while well, the getting is good. So I will see you next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.